What if the universe didn't start the way we think it did? What if it didn't start at all? The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered galaxies so massive, so ancient, they don't just challenge our theories. They break the laws of physics as we know them. According to our best models, these galaxies shouldn't exist. There wasn't enough time. There wasn't enough matter. And yet, they're there. Bright, structured. Everywhere Webb looks, these discoveries don't just poke holes in our understanding. They tear through the Big Bang timeline, the standard model of cosmology, and everything built on top of it. And if what Webb sees is real, then the universe may be older, stranger, and far more complex than we ever imagined. Because the deeper we look into space, the more everything we thought we knew starts to fall apart. At the edge of our observable universe, where light has traveled for over 13 billion years just to reach us, James Webb found something that stunned the scientific world. Galaxies. But not the faint newborn specks we expected. These were massive, bright, structured, packed with stars and burning with intensity. Some of them may have existed just 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's not just early, that's impossibly early. To form galaxies that fast, matter would have had to collapse into stars almost instantly. No gradual build-up, no waiting, just sudden, perfect ignition. But that's not how galaxies form, not under the physics we trust. These galaxies look like they skipped billions of years of evolution and somehow appeared, fully formed in the dawn of time. And they're not rare. Everywhere Webb looks, it finds more. Not isolated flukes, a pattern, a cosmic signature. If these objects are real, then everything we thought we knew about how the universe formed might be wrong. For decades, the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model, Lambda CDM, has been our blueprint of the cosmos. It explains how the universe expanded, how matter clumped together, how galaxies formed. It relies on cold, dark matter and dark energy to hold everything together and push everything apart. This model has been remarkably successful. It predicted the cosmic microwave background. It explained the distribution of galaxies. It told us how the large-scale structure of the universe formed. For a long time, it felt unshakable. But James Webb is revealing objects that don't fit. The Lambda CDM model says there wasn't enough ordinary matter in the early universe to build such enormous galaxies so quickly. It's like trying to build a skyscraper without bricks and without time to stack them. Worse still, these galaxies didn't just form fast, they formed perfectly. Most galaxies today only convert about 10% of their gas into stars. They're slow, wasteful, but the galaxies Webb found? They used everything. No leftover dust, no gas, just pure blazing starlight. That's not just unlikely, it's not supposed to be possible. These galaxies broke the rules of how matter cools, condenses, and ignites into stars. The temperature, density, and timing don't align. It's as if the entire galactic life cycle played out on fast forward, skipping the messy steps entirely. And if that's true, then we're not looking at a small glitch in the model. We're looking at a cosmic system error, something deep, fundamental, and unaccounted for. We've all heard the story. A single explosion, a single moment, a universe born from a blinding flash of creation, the Big Bang. But if galaxies like these existed just a few hundred million years later, then that story doesn't add up. Some scientists are beginning to ask the unthinkable. What if the universe didn't have a beginning at all? What if it always was? Because what Webb is showing us doesn't look like a slow, unfolding cosmos. It looks like a universe that was ready, fully formed, from the very start. And here's the twist. If the universe is infinite, then the Big Bang didn't happen at a single point. It happened everywhere, all at once. That changes everything. This also raises an uncomfortable possibility that time itself may not be linear, that the concept of a before the Big Bang may not even make sense. Some physicists now consider models in which time is cyclic or emergent, a byproduct of deeper quantum processes. Because the moment we stop imagining the Big Bang as an explosion in space, 
and start seeing it as a transformation of space, our entire model of the universe begins to shift, and that shift changes the stakes, not just for physics, but for our understanding of reality itself. The farther you look into space, the farther back in time you're seeing. That's simple enough. But James Webb is now detecting galaxies at distances that seem impossible. Out there, at the limits of observation, lies something called the Hubble Sphere, a boundary beyond which galaxies are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. That's not a mistake. It's because the universe itself is expanding, stretching space like a rubber band. Beyond that boundary, galaxies should be invisible. Their light should never reach us. And yet, we see them. Thanks to the accelerating expansion of space, that boundary is growing. It's dragging light from previously unreachable galaxies into our field of view. We're seeing ancient messages from places we should never have access to. But here's the haunting part. Those galaxies are already gone. They still exist somewhere, yes. But the light they emit now will never reach us. We're seeing their past. A moment frozen in time from a part of the universe we'll never see again. We used to believe we had a picture of the universe's infancy, a final truth, frozen in light. It's called the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint radiation echoing from every direction, telling us what the universe looked like 380,000 years after its birth, mapped in stunning detail by satellites like COBE, WMAP and Planck. The CMB became the ultimate guide. The peaks and dips in its temperature revealed the seeds of structure, tiny fluctuations that would later grow into galaxies and clusters. But Webb's discoveries don't match that image. The CMB paints a picture of a smooth, formless early universe, a blank canvas that took hundreds of millions of years to evolve. But Webb is seeing the opposite, structured, luminous galaxies formed in a cosmic blink. It's like looking at a baby photo and finding a grown adult staring back. If the CMB was wrong, or even just misinterpreted, then everything built on it begins to collapse. The universe's age, its expansion, the very nature of dark energy. And yet, we keep discovering more impossible galaxies. So the question becomes, what are they? Are they outliers? Errors? or signs of a much deeper truth waiting just beyond the veil of what we thought we understood. In the known universe, galaxies are slow builders. They swirl with gas. They take their time. Stars form gradually, burning just a fraction of available fuel. But Webb's galaxies, they didn't wait. They lit up instantly, burning through nearly all their gas in one enormous cosmic blaze. Scientists ran the numbers. The star formation efficiency wasn't just high, it was near total. That's not just rare, it's physically forbidden. No leftover gas, no dusty remnants, just stars. These weren't slow-burning galaxies. They were explosions frozen in time. And it wasn't just one or ten, it's dozens, maybe more. That's not an anomaly, that's a new rule, one we didn't know existed. So what are these things? Galaxies, relics, echoes. Some scientists now believe we might be looking at a new class of object. Not galaxies at all, but something else. Something unknown. Others wonder if we're witnessing remnants of a previous universe, or artifacts of flaws in space-time itself. Maybe we're seeing distortions, ghost images from a reality our models can't yet comprehend. Some theories even suggest we're catching glimpses of high-density quantum structures, exotic matter condensates, or configurations shaped by physics that predates the Big Bang. These could be fossils of a previous cycle of the universe, or signals from a multiverse, leaking through dimensional seams we can barely imagine. Or maybe, our model has been wrong from the start. James Webb may not just be showing us the beginning of the universe, it might be revealing that there was no beginning that what we thought was the first chapter was actually somewhere in the middle. And now we're left staring at a sky full of questions with a telescope that keeps answering them the same way. You're not ready for the truth. James Webb was built to answer the deepest questions we've ever asked. Instead, it's asking better ones. It went searching for the earliest stars, 
the first galaxies, the beginning of everything. What it found was something else, a universe that wasn't supposed to be there, one that formed too fast, burned too bright, and refuses to play by our rules. The Big Bang, the timeline, the laws of physics themselves, all of it is now under review, because the deeper we look into space, the less sense any of it makes. Maybe the universe is older than we thought, maybe it's infinite, or maybe it was never ours to understand in the first place. But one thing is certain, James Webb didn't just change astronomy, it cracked open the story of everything.